Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video. I love that intro. It's so funny because I've been doing that since I was actually no it used to be like it used to be something like what is that blessed squad something like that. Y'all are still my blessed squad. I just have I've grown out of saying blessed squad. Bless squad. A lot of y'all thought it was blood squad. I'm like no no um blessed squad but I'll be like rushing through my words because I'm a fast talker but yeah that intro is so cute because I've been doing it for so long anyways what is going on everybody and welcome back I am super excited for today's video because I don't really do sit down hygiene girl to girl woman to woman friend to friend sister to sister type videos no more but they are super fun because I feel like I'm just able to like focus on you guys and talk to you guys as if we're in the same room I need some water though I'll be back because my mouth is kind of dry Mm. Oh, 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 oh so this is exciting we're just sitting here together vibing okay but let's get into what this video is about i know with everything going on right now with inflation and then jobs not paying enough to even live through inflation times are hard financially right now and i don't want any of my girls not being able to smell as good as they did at one point not being able to buy nice products how they did at one point and not feel as good about themselves because first of all girls smelling good brings a whole different level of confidence when i smell good Good girl, I feel amazing. If my outfit may not be on fleek, my hair may not be on fleek. Do we use that word no anymore? Because I don't think we do. But girl, I'm gonna use it today. Yeah. Um, if I ain't looking the best, if I ain't feeling the best, if I'm smelling good, it makes me feel that much better. And y'all know I'm big on smelling good. Y'all know I'm big on helping others smell good. Cause I know how much smelling good means to me. So with that being said, I really want to help my girls know that they can still smell good on a budget. I am going to be sharing with you guys the cheapest products to smell luxury and bougie on a budget, okay? Smelling bougie on a budget, okay? We don't have to have a bunch of money to smell good. You could be on a budget and smell just as good as if you was wearing Chanel, Versace, Dolce Gabbana. It is what it is, okay? We know this now. Well, we're about to know it. We're about to know it because girl, I'm going to go ahead and help you out. But... Before we go ahead and hop into the cheapest, best products to smell good on a budget, I do want to go ahead and give y'all some encouragement. The Christian way. Because y'all know I'm a Christian woman, okay? And that's the only way I can do it. That's the only way I've been encouraged, you know? I've I've done the worldly route. I've taken the, wor the worldly route. It didn't help me. It left me depressed, confused, and wanting more. And there was nothing else to get. It left me tired from striving when all I had to do the entire time was give it to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. My encouragement today is going to be about when you're not feeling qualified for the things that you want to do. When you don't feel like you have what it takes, you don't have the looks that it takes, the personality that it takes, this or that, whatever the devil is telling you, whatever these negative seeds that the devil is planting in your life to make you believe that you don't have what it takes to get to where you want to go, we're going to go ahead and smash that all. We're going to get, we're going to stomp it out today. We're gonna go ahead and get that out your mind right now, okay? Because listen, it's the anointing of Christ Jesus that qualifies you where you believe you can never be qualified. When you spend time with the Lord Jesus Christ and you pray to him and you talk to him and you read his word and you spend time with him and you, and, and you give your life to him, you surrender your life to him and you believe that he is your Lord and Savior, that he died on the cross for your sins and that he is God, the one and only true living God. He anoints you to do things that you never thought that you could do. It's his anointing that changes the game. My dogs are barking, y'all. This has been a consistent thing with them because we have, we have these big windows and like they can see everything now and like they just, they're a little barker, they're little yappers. I can't stand, let me go tell them to shut the heck up. Shut your mouth. No, ma'am. Shut your pie hole, literally. I remember somebody told me that when I was younger and I wasn't a snitch, but this time it just really ticked me off because I thought pie hole was bad and I went and told their mom. And they were like, come here right now. I didn't even know these freaking kids. And I told on them and I wasn't even a snitch like that. I never told anybody's parents on them. But there was just this one night, these kids was talking crazy. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get you in trouble. It's the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ that changes, changes the game, okay? Because listen, and this is just an example to put it into perspective. Okay, let's say somebody gets singing. This person is blowing his junk out the water. This person over here got the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. Her vocals may not be as good as this other person's, but because the Lord Jesus Christ anointing is on this person, people want to hear this per person. People are catching the Holy Ghost off this person. And this person becomes more successful because the anointing of Jesus Christ is on this person. You get what I'm saying? So it's the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ that qualifies you where you don't believe that you're qualified. And also, 
giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, girl, he's going to add so many gifts and talents onto you that you would never thought that you would have, that you never think that you would have because of Jesus Christ. That's what he does. It's not about how, but it's about who, okay? It's not about how it's going to get done. How is this going to happen? It's about who you serve. It's about who is going to do it for you. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He owns all of this, baby. All of this belongs to him, okay? People can talk all they want, but at the end of the day, Jesus Christ is the one that's going to show up. He's the one that's going to give you the victory. He's the one that's going to show up, show up and show out. And listen, listen, this is how you know you're about to head to a different level. This is how you know. This is how you know you're special and that's how you know you're gifted and what you can do in the world. Is because before you're about to go ahead and go to a new level, here come the devil. He tries to plant seeds of doubt. These negative seeds, these gross, disgusting seeds. He tries to plant seeds of doubt, worry, fear. No, oh, that can't happen. Well, what if you do try and this happens? That's kind of worrisome. If you let that take root, you will never get to where you're supposed to get. Don't let that take root. Don't let him talk you out of the life that Jesus has for you. It's like you can listen to the devil or you can listen to Jesus and Jesus is with you and he's trying to get you to listen to him. But it's, it's easier to listen to the negative because it feels more safe. It feels more comfortable. Well, this walk ain't about being comfortable. This walk is about taking big steps and leaps of faith. This walk is gonna require faith in Jesus Christ, not in yourself, not in these false gods. Not in these people. Because them people ain't gonna be the ones to determine what's gonna happen. You ain't their child. You Jesus' child. Amen. So with that being said, keep pushing forward. Keep pressing into what you know you're supposed to be doing. And you will see what he is going to do in your life. He's doing a great work. Even when I can't see it, he's working. Even when I can't feel it, he working. He's working, he's working, he's working. Okay. Now, let's get into these products because... Okay, the encouragement is, it's motivating. Also, real fast, I forgot to mention this. We are going to be talking about everything but oral hygiene. I'm going to be talking about basically everything like on the body smell good. So we're not really going to be talking about oral hygiene. That's the only thing we're not covering today. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So I am really picky with my shampoo and conditioners. I can't just use all shampoo and conditioners because my hair will get super frizzy. It'll feel squeaky. I don't like that squeaky feeling because I know that you're drying out my hair at this point. My hair will just look a mess. So I cannot just use all cheap shampoo and conditioners. The only one that I have found that works very well for my hair and is also super affordable and I will have all the prices on the screen. Aussie. So look, I'm kind of ashamed because I didn't have any more in my closet today to get out of. Yes, girl, I have like everything but this. I'm like, why didn't I have these? These are my favorites because I went through all my bottles. Yeah, love my Aussie. But I kind of feel a little dumb because when I went to the store to go ahead and buy some, I bought two shampoos. Two shampoos. Girl, what in the freak? But you get what I'm saying. For me, since I have curly hair, I picked up Miracle Curls. These are like $3 and something. Girl, swear to gosh, they're moisturizing and they work so well in my hair. And girl, I can tell when a shampoo didn't mess my hair up because my junk be frizzy, feeling crunchy. I can't do it. I can't do all shampoo and conditioners. I used to at one point when I didn't really know much about hair. But girl, I'm trying to get my hair back right. And I ain't got time to be playing around. Let's just act like this one's like a conditioner or like one of them's like a conditioner. This is the only shampoo and conditioner I can use on a budget and they're so cheap. Now listen, it's also the only one I can use that smells amazing. My hair be smelling so good with Aussie. Aussie's so strong. It's that Aussie smell. You know, Aussie got that signature smell. You know, Aussie's more fruity, you know, but then they add the coconut in it, girl, stop playing. Now they have all different kind of Aussies for like all different kind of hair types. This is for the curls, my curly girls. Girl, I gotta get back to Walmart cause no, I gotta use this junk. So I gotta get my dang receipt out of my purse and go return it for my conditioner cause girl, I love Aussie. Even if I'm not on a budget, I still use this. And I'm not on a budget anymore and I still use my Aussie because girl, what smells like Aussie? My hair just smells too good with Aussie. Oh my gosh. Slow your roll, slow your roll. So stop playing with me. Next we're gonna go ahead and talk about soaps. What is gonna be the cheapest soap to go ahead and use to smell good? So y'all know I like bar soap and body wash. Since my skin has been like super dry from Accutane, I've only been washing up once, but y'all know I like to use my bar soap and my body wash. So we're just gonna go with the regular routine. And look it, dial. Dial, at one point, look though, at one point Dial had changed their formula, broke a sister out all over. I had a rash from, it was just on my chest, I'm not gonna lie, but it was all over my chest. I had little bumps everywhere. Well, I tried it again and again, and they got their formula back right. 
Because, girl, I don't know what they was doing. But Dial Bar Soap is going to be your way to go. I'm actually going to go ahead and put up the price of a four-pack. Because a four-pack is what's going to last you a pretty darn long time. So, if you like your bar soap, which y'all know I love my bar soap, Dial is going to be your way to go because it's going to be your cheapest way to go. And it's also antibacterial and, girl, it cleans the body. It eliminates odor because it's antibacterial. So, it gets rid of all those odor-causing bacterias. Bacteria, Okay. So my favorite scent, I gotta say right now, is the white bar. But y'all know I love that lavender too. Spring water is, eh, it's not too strong. I love the white and the gold. Now listen, this is my white bar. I have this in my shower right now. I used it today. It smells so good. Got a girl smelling right. But I haven't smelled the gold bar in forever. I love the gold bar because I remember my, my grandma had it in her house. And when you walked into her bathroom, you could literally smell the gold bar. Now not everybody like the gold bar. I'm just different. You know, what I grew up on, it's like, it's like nostalgia. It's like nostalgic. So, ooh, yes, girl. This one gonna have you smelling strong. Like this one, that's that gold bar. But I know not everybody gonna like that. I think the one everybody gonna really like is the white dial bar. So get you some bar soap. Now listen, I don't use no loofahs. I don't use my hands no more. Growing up, I always used, cause all we could afford was dial. Growing up, I used dial in my hands. Hands ain't gonna do the job. Come on, jacket. You cute this way. It needs to be down like this, y'all, because it's cute. Like, I'm gonna have to, like, tuck it in between my legs because it's so cute this way. Listen, but you can't do that. You can't do that. I also use loofahs growing up as well. They just was not getting a sister right. Once again, this stuff gonna be from Walmart. Did I already say that? Did I not? All of this stuff you can find at Walmart, y'all. You can go to Walmart. It's gonna be a one-stop shop. All of this stuff I got at Walmart, okay? Get you a pack of washcloths. Yeah, now the one thing I will say about them Walmart washcloths, if you get the variety pack of different um, colors, girl, they leak. They bleed. So it ain't too fun when you're in the shower and all you're seeing is like a bunch of dye come out. So I would really just suggest to get the white ones. Plus you can bleach them, which is a disinfectant. Always change these out at least weekly. You can do it two times a week, but at least one time a week because girl, they will not get as soapy and you will not get the full experience of your soap if you don't change them out. So always have a fresh washcloth, but you can get this big old pack for really cheap at Walmart. Like I said, I have the prices up for each and every product. This is gonna be your best way to go because this comes with 18. You gotta have a washcloth to wash your body because girl odor it don't care about them loofahs and it don't care about your hands it's gonna keep them in bed okay girl what no you gotta scrub your body with a washcloth so first you can go on with your bar soap if you are not a bar soap person you can cut that out the water you ain't gotta do it all you gotta do is get your body wash and wash your body up you can still smell good with just a body wash i'm just saying if you want to be like completely thorough y'all know i do bar soap then i do body wash but you can just do body wash if you want to i know everybody ain't with the bar so my mama ain't with the bar soap no more she likes to do her body wash girl get in get out and call it a day this my favorite it's my favorite and y'all know this though but y'all already know this because like i said when i first started my channel all of my videos had to be with my allowance okay my allowance and i wasn't getting that much an allowance and all of my videos had to be with my allowance and i had to teach people how to smell good what's my allowance this was my john and i used to always say john too and then my brothers and i would argue about how to spell it well i just said john gonna be j-a-w-n and if that ain't right then now i don't care it just sound right to be as well I put too many people onto this. You can smell all the soft soaps. This is going to be your best bet. This is going to be your best bet. It's going to make you smell the best. This is going to smell the most bougie and the most luxurious. Remind you, I am going to only show stuff that is going to make you smell luxurious. I don't want to smell cheap. This is the Soft Soap Hydrating Luminous Oils Coconut and Calming Lavender body wash this is going to be the most expensive luxury bougie scented body wash you are going to get on a budget this stuff gets so soapy it's very hydrating a little bit goes a long way and you are going to smell amazing now listen you can also get your white bar the white bar is going to be the best one in combination with this one in the lavender one these are going to be the best in combo so you can honestly scratch the gold bar if you want to the white bar smells super good you could even get your washcloth get it real soapy with this and then add some of this too y'all know i be doing it i get it real soapy with that bar so then put some body wash in and I scrub my body for a long time. Girl, I get to scrub him. I have plenty of routine videos, plenty of how to clean your body, plenty of showing you guys how to clean my body shower videos on my channel. So I don't want to like repeat myself and have y'all being bored and stuff. So I'm just showing the products. I could smell this for hours. I've been through at least 10 bottles of this. It's a different feeling when you get that real soapy lather. 
Girl, you get to scrub up for a good amount of time, honey. Girl, so now you know how to get your hair smelling right in the shower. Oh, they got stuck. You know how to get your body smelling right. Now let's go ahead and talk about your downstairs area because girl, we can't use the same soaps on our downstairs area as we do on our body because it'll have us fucked up. We can't just use anything down there. And as of lately, I've been really sensitive. So listen, y'all know I love my baby dove. I have been suggesting baby dove for so long. Baby dove is my, that's my girl, okay? Baby dove. If you don't know what it is, let me go grab it. This is my top tier baby dove. I've been talking about this for the beginning of time, okay? This is the baby dove. This one is the rich moisture, so it has like a little mild fragrance, but they also have a fragrance-free one. They have all different kind of ones, but y'all know I love this one and the fragrance-free one, okay? But that is almost $8. It's like $7 and something now. It used to be like $5, but now it's like $7 and something. So if you cannot afford that, let's talk about what we can afford and what we can get. So I'm going to go ahead and answer the picture right here of this knockoff of Vino wash. You can get this at Walmart. So they didn't have this at Walmart today when I went. That's so annoying. But actually, this is what I'm going to go ahead and say. So my mom is extremely sensitive downstairs. She actually can't like use anything but like Baby Dove and this wash right here. My mom is one of the most sensitive people I have ever met. Like everything irritates her. She can't do it. And this is her girl right here. This right here and also Baby Dove. But it, you know, for budget wise, this right here is the way to go. So this is the one that I would suggest. It is extremely affordable. It'll last you a long time because it's a darn big bottle and it works the only other thing i can use downstairs that does not irritate me is the dove sensitive skin non-scented bar soap so i'm gonna go ahead and put up the price for a two pack it's moisturizing it has no scent it has nothing that will irritate you and this is gonna be your way to go so those are your two options if you are on a budget so those are gonna be your best bet on a budget the equate wash and then this Dove non-scented sensitive skin um, bar soap. Y'all know, I wash my downstairs area with baby washcloths. Baby washcloths are pretty darn expensive. My favorites are the Target ones and the ones I be getting off Amazon, like Burst Beads ones I have them on my Amazon storefront. But I just picked these up from Walmart today and I'm gonna tell y'all if they're worthy, if they're good enough to so you, absolutely. Oh girl, I might start having to check these. These is good, I got this 10 pack. For about 10 bucks at Walmart. These are the 10 pack Terry washcloths by Gerber. I can't use washcloths downstairs because my downstairs area is way too sensitive. And I found that I'm fresher when I use baby washcloths. So if you're on a budget, let me tell you something. You don't have to keep repurchasing these. You buy these, you wash them. So it would be more of an investment. So you buy them, you wash them, okay? So I would get this little 10 pack at Walmart. I found these in like the baby like sock section and bib section. Get these at Walmart, it's a 10 pack. If you're a mom and you have girls, you can split them with your girls, whatever you wanna do. Uh, if you got, if you're sisters, you can split them with your sisters, whatever you gotta do. Baby washcloths, these are really good. So because my armpits are so sensitive, I cannot just use any razor because it literally hurts so bad and my armpits hurt so bad, even applying deodorant if I just use any razor. Same thing with my downstairs area. If I use just any razor and any shade cream, my downstairs area will be so itchy, full of bumps. But I will say it is pretty important to shave your armpits. And if you're not comfortable shaving your downstairs area, you don't have to. But it does prevent odor. Shaving your downstairs area and shaving your armpits really does prevent odor. And it really helps to, A, say stop. We ain't bringing bring all that odor up in here. I'm telling you. You will literally smell completely different when you have like a bunch of hair down there. So the only thing I am able to shave my armpits with is this. This is the Gillette Venus Pubic Hair and Skin Razor. It's a little pricey, y'all. But I'm telling y'all, this is the only way I can shave my armpits in my downstairs area without being super irritated and razor bumps everywhere and in pain, okay, and itchy. And this is the only shave gel I can use. This is the matching Gillette Venus 2-in-1 Cleanser and Shave Gel. This is the only thing I can use, y'all. Because if not, my armpits and my downstairs area will hurt so bad. So that's something that I actually cannot be on a budget with is these two products. Like, I have to use them. But... If you're not that sensitive, I'm sure you know what you can use. But what I used to shave my legs and stuff with, look, this is the Equate, the Stylish 5 Blades. So the more blades you have, the better it's going to be. These are actually really good. These are like the best disposable razors you're going to get at Walmart. Disposable are the most cheap. The ones that you have to like do refills and like replacements, them are a little pricey. Jacket gonna have to come off because girl, my room is kind of steaming. These are really good razors, but I can only use these on my legs because y'all know I'm really sensitive. And then, not gonna lie, this is a really good shave gel. 
really good this is the equate shave gel um and the scent coconut um this is super good you guys it gets super foamy and the more foamy you get your shave gel or your shave cream the better because it means that razor is not going to be just razor to skin it's going to be razor shave gel to skin so it's not going to irritate your skin so much and this is a really good one love this stuff i i can only use it for my legs but i love this stuff i literally intentionally buy this stuff even if i'm not on a budget because this stuff smells good and it works so well it's like what's the point of buying all these expensive shave gels if this is going to work just as good so these are going to be your best bet as far as budgeting and shaving I'm just, as for me, like, I just can't, especially even after Accutane, I got even more sensitive, and, like, those are the only ones I can use, okay? My body be like, ha, 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 you thought it was, <laughs> thought it was, thought it was, thought it was, thought it was, reverse, go get your junk, you can't even budget on this junk, because you're gonna hurt. Also, don't know how I skip past this, but exfoliation, your best way to go is going to be exfoliating gloves, because you can wash them. Body scrubs, they're gone, they're gone, you gotta buy a new one exfoliating gloves you don't have to all you gotta do is go ahead and wash them and use them again these are going to be your best way to go you can find these on the website the walmart website or in stores i got all of my stuff in stores i just have two more boxes of hygiene products packed away um that i'm gonna go ahead and unpack soon but i'm pretty sure those have all of my exfoliating gloves in them so these are going to be your best way to go to exfoliate exfoliating gloves even for downstairs that's the cheapest way to go because girl you invest into it and you don't have to buy new ones until you feel like they're getting dull and they don't get dull fast at all now we can get into the smell goods okay so the smell goods all start with your lotion every single day i have been using my jergens original scent cherry almond this is the strongest lotion now look it I've done the Body Cology lotions. They're pretty affordable. They do not last how Jergens Cherry Almond does. I don't give a crap. Jergens Cherry Almond out of this world. The Jergens Cherry Almond is going to be your best bet, girl. These bottles last a pretty darn long time. Now listen, if you're not a big fan of the Cherry Almond scent by Jergens, for two more dollars, you can get a bigger bottle, bottle of lotion, but it's the Hydrating Coconut. This one also smells divine and so beautiful. That comes with more and it's a whole different scent. So you can also pick that, but it will be $2 more, but it does last a very long time. So we have options here, but Jergens, my girl, okay. You can sweat, work out, whatever the heck. You gonna smell like this Jergens Cherry Almond. So it's gonna be a lotion, slather that all over your body. I'm not doing like a routine, but of course, put your lotion on, get your clothes on. Now for a deodorant. If you are struggling trying to find an affordable deodorant that is actually going to work and you ain't gonna be stinking, girl, get the new degree, advanced 72 hour deodorant. It is so hard trying to find deodorants that actually work. We all know about Lumi, cool, but it's like $15 a stick. Girl, not this. Let me put my jacket on for my collarbone start getting red because y'all know I'm pale out here. Burnt my finger, bust my collarbone. Girl, the angle keep changing because I keep taking bathroom breaks. But anyways, next, I keep drinking a bunch of water off camera because I'm hot. Like I was saying, this is gonna be your girl right here. My mama actually put me onto these deodorants because they are so good. And they come in all different kind of scents. So girl, get you some. And that manly scent, it fades away after like the first like half an hour. It doesn't stay. It's not like the Dove Cucumber where it like stays all day. This scent fades away. So anyway, get you some. Now, let's get into what we've all been waiting for. Fragrance on a budget. Okay, as we see here, I have a bunch of different fragrances lined out because Juicy Couture made it possible for us girls to smell su super luxury on a budget i got this one this is my girl right here this is couture couture by juicy couture y'all know i love this one let me go grab the bottle because girl i've been through a million i get this one at tj maxx and they always have it i got this bottle for 29.99 it might be a little bit more now because of inflation i got this for 29.99 please check out your local tj maxx and see if they have couture couture by juicy couture because this one smells like a chanel fragrance it smells like a versace fragrance this is going to be like super expensive smelling for your budget now listen there are other fragrances you can find at tj maxx that smell super expensive i i found deep euphoria there by calvin klein for like 40 bucks i have found this oh thank you 
welcome. I asked him for a can to dry on ice. Thanks, baby. Yes, sir. So this is my Couture Couture by Juicy Couture because, girl, we know this one is, oh my gosh, so luxury smelling. It's like out of this world. I've also found this one. This is Element Edition Pearl. Pearl by Element Edition. I have found this one at TJ Maxx a million times, you guys. This is only $14.99 there. This stuff smells so beautiful. I'm also going to link down below a video that I did like a year ago. And it was like the cheapest fragrances that last. So I'm also going to go ahead and link that down below as well. I don't know why I'm deciding to do all of this after I already like got done filming um, and I'm editing now. But I also forgot to mention that at Walmart, they also carry Jovan White Musk. This is about $14 at Walmart. And when I tell you guys, I have gotten so many compliments on Jovan White Musk. It is just like a soapy, clean kind of smell. But yeah, definitely go ahead and check out that link down below of fragrances that last that are cheap. Take my word for these fragrances and go buy them at TJ Maxx. Also, now at Walmart, they have four different Juicy Couture fragrances for like 30 something bucks. Now at the Walmart that's near me, I got what? These three for $9.99. So that's not going to be realistic for everybody because they only had it at like my Walmart, but they are going to be 30 something dollars at your local Walmart. I just got blessed and got these three for $9. And I got like this one for like $15.99, but we're not even going to talk about that because realistically not every Walmart's going to have that. These are gonna be your best bet because these are always gonna be 30 something dollars at Walmart. Now, I have only smelled these two and I've gone through these bottles. Let's smell them all. Okay, so Jordan came and opened up all these boxes for me off camera because girl, it was gonna take a minute for me to have to do it. Um, and this one, I'm actually almost done with this purple one. So I didn't open up the box because we'll be able to smell it. So girl, let's see which one's the best. It smells like a Gucci Flora, like it's so beautiful. like. You could sell this in Macy's for a hundred and something dollars. Oh my gosh, y'all stop playing. But my favorite out of the pretty and purple and this one is this one. This is the Ra Ra Rouge. Ra Ra Rouge by Juicy Couture. This one, I've already been through like two bottles and I've gotten so many compliments on this perfume and I've always been like so confused like how, even though I know how, but it's like it's one of my cheap fragrances and this one is so heavily complimented. You know what? I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Because I don't know. That pretty and purple goes crazy. I don't know now. Hold on. No, they're like the same rating. They're both 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know now. That pretty and purple kind of prettier now to me. I can't. Can't pick one. Yeah, I can't do it. But now, I've never smelled these. So now I'm a little scared. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. What are these top? my girls like those are my girls you know like what i'm actually gonna go ahead and spray these on my skin though because like i know what these two smell like on my skin and they are just top tier but i never smelled these on my skin um actually this is palm tree please palm tree please girl please palm tree please that's pretty it's not as strong as the Ra Ra Rouge and the Pretty in Purple though. It's clean and it's fresh. Ra Ra Rouge and Pretty in Purple are sweet. It's fresh, but it's not that strong. This one is It's Sunny, honey. So I'm still going for my Purple, Pretty in Purple and Ra Ra Rouge, but I'm not gonna pick which one I like better because I can't. It's Sunny, honey. Honey, I shrunk the kids. Ooh, hold on, it's giving like sweet lemonade. This one's stronger than this one. This one's like a sweet lemonade. These are giving like eight out of 10, but these are giving 10 out of 10. Y'all know I also recently found out about this Love's Baby Soft. It just don't last too long, so I have to spray a lot more, but this is a beautiful baby powder fragrance that you can get at Walmart for $14.99 or on their website. Oh, you know what? I don't have all of them. They had Oh So Orange. I didn't buy that one because that one was $27.99 and it wasn't on sale like the rest of them. And I was like, you kind of text a little bit. So they also have Oh So Orange. So they actually have five different fragrances. So I don't have all of them. But I don't think I like the Palm Tree Please too much. I feel like that's more of like an air freshener. It's pretty, but I don't think it's something I could wear all day. That's just me being honest. If somebody was wearing it, though, I'd be like, girl, you smell good. It's the next day and I am back because I am currently editing this video and I was like, girl, why didn't you tell them about Dossier Fragrances? Because Dossier Fragrances also makes it possible to smell extremely bougie on a budget. They have like Coco Mademoiselle, but it's like a knockoff of Coco Mademoiselle and it smells spot on. J'adore by Dior, Chloe, uh, Versace Bright Crystal. They're named different, but they smell exactly like the actual fragrance and all of their fragrances are about $29. 
colors. But like for an example, Woody Oak Moss is a knockoff of Chanel Coco Mademoiselle and it smells exactly like it, but it's only $29. There are plenty of fragrances that you can smell good on a budget with. So like I said, that's how you gonna go ahead and smell bougie on a budget. Those are gonna be your best bets uh, as far as products. I didn't go into a routine. These are gonna be the cheapest products you're gonna get. That's gonna have you smelling like, ooh, all right. With that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making it. I hope y'all like my little vibe I was going for. Mm-hmm. I love every single one of you guys. God bless you all. In the mighty, powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and it's time for your girl to check out.